Hi, this is Jimmy from The Productive Engineer, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to set up recurring tasks in Todoist. Todoist via natural language processing allows you to quickly and easily set up recurring tasks. And I'm going to take you to a variety of scenarios that you might find yourself in when setting up tasks in Todoist. Now, if you're looking for more um, information on how to use Todoist, you should really check out my video. I'm going to link it up above. It's basically my beginner's guide to Todoist, and it takes you everything, assuming that you know nothing about Todoist, and by the end of the video, you'll know pretty much everything you need to know to manage your tasks effectively in Todoist. Now, this channel is all about helping you use these productivity apps to get things done, and if you like this video, please click the like button as it really helps out the channel. If you want to see more of these videos, please click the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when I release new videos, please click the bell. Thanks. Let's get started. Todoist is really great at setting up recurring appointments. So for example, let's say I wanted to do one um, end of week review. And I have this task that I want it to be, and let's say I want to do this every Friday. Um, at five o'clock. Well, because to do is understands natural language, you can do it. You can type it every Friday at let's say 4 30 PM because we want to leave. And as you can see, when I type that, um, yeah, end of week review, it understands that I want to type it every Friday at 4 30 PM, that it, that that's when I want to do it. And now if I hit add task, you can see two things happen here. One is that the, I have a task that's active in my inbox here because I didn't sign it to a project. Um, Friday at 4.30, but you also see this little recurring icon here, if you look. Um, that icon indicates that that's a recurring um, task, and that's going to happen every Friday at 4.30 p.m. Okay, so we see how we could do that type of task, but what if we wanted to like use an AND conditional to... For example, I record my YouTube videos typically on a weekend, so I'll record them on Saturday and Sunday. So if I was setting up my schedule, I might say record YouTube videos. And in order to say every Saturday, Sunday, I literally just type that every Saturday and Sunday. And now when I hit add task, you can see because today is actually Sunday, um, and I'm actually recording a video. It comes up as today, but it has that recurring icon, as you can see here. So you get the Saturday and Sunday um, option. You can also, they don't have to be consecutive days. So you can sit there and say, let's say um, I want to have a entry to read a book. And I want to do that every Monday and Thursday. Not a problem, as you can see here. To do is recognizes it as a um, entry. I can hit add task, and now tomorrow, which is Monday, um, and if I hover over, you can see it says every Monday and Thursday, and it has a recurring icon. So, as you can see, it starts to get more powerful the more you think about it, because Todoist has a really good natural language engine. One of the things you could do is, let's say you have a task that you want to do like every third Wednesday of the month. So maybe that task is review your bills, right? I can actually say every third Wednesday, and it recognizes that. And if I hit add task, I can see my recurring. And if I hover over it, you see it says every third Wednesday. So again, very powerful in terms of what you can do. You can also use, um, let's say you have something like um, review finances, and you do that every last Friday. If I hit task, you can see that the last Friday in May is the 29th, and it tells me every last Friday of the month, I am going to review my finances. Todoist also has some um, defaults. So let's say brush teeth as an example. You do that every morning. So I can just type in every morning, 
and it understands that. And if I add that task, what it does is it actually adds it every morning at 9 a.m. Mold on. Um, every week, as an example. And then what, what I'll do is like it'll say every week from today. So um, today I'll have one, and then seven days from now it'll have, come up again, as you can see, the recurring item. Um, you could also do like things like do taxes. <laughs> you do that once a year, right? So you could do that um, every year if, um, right? And that would show starting today. If I did it today, then next May 3rd it would be. Now, obviously, I would be late, so I can actually come in here, delete that, and I can type in something like every April 1st, right? As another example, and now every April 1st, I'm going to do my taxes um, to get it in, right? Okay, let's say you have some things that you want to start at a certain date. And it, so what you can do is you can say, exercise because that's one of the things I have never I never do so I can say every other day starting June 1st and as you can see um, I can have that in as you can see I'm not committed to exercise I'm doing it every other day but if I click that you can see that it it will literally uh, start June 1st um, and recur every day from that point, every other day, excuse me, from that point. So if I were to click it, complete, as you see, it went from June 1st to June 3rd. If I click it again, watch, June 5th, June 7th. So that's really kind of cool, right? Um, and I can undo them, as you can see there. So that's really cool. And the other thing you could do is let's say um, I have a task that has that happens within a range of days. So let's say I'm going to be uh, camping, which I won't be because I'm um, I have massive allergies. I can actually say things like um, from let's say one June to six June, and as you can say see. That is now going to hit Add Task. If I click it, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then it's done. Okay, let's do one last one that shows you, that kind of combines everything we've learned together into one thing. So some of you may have pools. I don't because they're money pits. But if you do have a pool, you might have to change your filters every so often. So let's do Change Pool Filters. Let's say we do that every fifth week starting, you know, let's say we do that, we want to do it at 10 a.m. starting May 1st until October 1st. We'll add that. So here, you can see that it re it's a recurring task. It starts May 1st, um, every fifth week. So if I click it off, June 5th is the next week. Click again, June 10th, oh, so July 10th, I don't know how to read. Click it again, August 14th, September 18th, and then it's done because it stops on October 1st. So that actually combined um, a range. Um, it combined a start time, a start a start time every every time it happens, like an actual time a day. It has a start date and it has an end date. So when you look at it, you using natural language, you can really stack um, these recurring tasks to make them very powerful, depending on what you're looking to do. Well, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like this video, please click that like button because again, it does help my channel out. Um, if you want to see more videos about how to use your productivity apps, whether it's Todoist, um, Notion, Evernote, any of the Google Docs, Google Sheets, um, Microsoft Excel, etc., you really should subscribe to my channel because that's what this channel is all about, teaching you how to use these tools in ways to help you get things done. And lastly, if you want to be notified when I release new videos, please click the bell. Thanks.